All right, fellas, so part two of our homemade fly tying glue. We're gonna tie up some simpler spiders. I have a little bit different way I'm gonna tie them than normal. I sell these on my website for anyone who's interested and wants to. This is my go-to fly when I wanna tie up a bunch of flies real fast. Uh, we tied up a little different of them. I'm not sure what we're gonna call these version of them. Call them maybe damsel daisies or something. Remember we were using deer hair to add flotation to the fly to make it ride off the bottom some. When I'm using our pattern nostril rig where the weight is at the bottom and the fly is up top, I don't really necessarily need that flotation. And if you look closely, you can see that the, the end of that is speckled and hackled and grizzly like, uh, like if you look at most spider leg or insect, le insect legs, their uh, legs are hackled like that or, or grizzly patterned like that. They have, you know, there's not just one solid color. You know, it's just how God does things, right? Whereas yesterday, we weren't using the tips. We we're chipping them off and letting the butts ride up high. What we're gonna do today is snip off the butts and let the tips ride up high. We're not building this for flotation because we plan on using these with a pattern oster rig so it won't matter. Knot it on back front, back to front like so. I mean, that right there would actually catch fish, believe it or not, but that's not what we're trying to do. So just like we did yesterday, pull that f backward and on the front side, really, ooh, gather that up and build up that head there. And then we're going to seal it off like so. If you have a few on the underside, it, it's just be fine. You can either trim it up or you can leave it there. Remember, all my flies are designed to be tipped with maggots, worms, things like that. I am not a fly fisherman in the purest sense. One of the things this fly does is give me more vibration in the water, gives me more flotation in the water, but, but then what we do is we're not gonna clip that off. What we can do is splay that, ah, oh, come on now. Splay that out some, okay? Compared to, uh, say, this guy, much more delicate. A lot of, you know, this will be more flotation. This will be more subtle, more realistic looking. You guys wanted to see the glue. So this glue, I've let it sit. You know, as you're watching this, it probably has sit for a few hours, but I'll probably only release the video the next day. So we're going to try this glue that we made from our goop and our xylene. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. A lot of people will use a bodkin. For this just a simple cheap little paintbrush nothing fancy we're just going to put a dab right there and then around the base that and oh yeah that is soaking up i can see how it's soaking up into the to the fibers there thing smells like varnish i guess it's petroleum based i don't know what the base of that xylene stuff is so what we'll do is take all these that we made up the other day that you remember from that video and we'll just put a drop a lot of crappie fishermen like to use sally hansen's uh, hard as nails as their main glue and finishing and things like that i i have never used sally hansen's i'm serious i have never actually used this stuff i, I just it's not like I'm opposed to using it or anything. I mean, every person who ever who, who who I've ever heard talk about it absolutely loves it for their jigs and flies and everything. But you know me, I gotta go do it my own way. I'm not gonna do it whatever. I'm not gonna do what everybody else is doing. I'm generally liking the viscosity. I think we got that part right. It's definitely uh, thicker than say super glue, but thinner than like say epoxy or something. That's the good thing about making it yourself. You can customize it. See, a lot of people are just so used to buying a pre-made ready solution out of the store that they don't even realize that what if the stuff you get out of the store is a little too thick or a little too thin? It, they've never even considered that. They just assume that what they're using is perfect when in fact it may not be. It's been my experience in life that usually what other people have is not exactly what I need. And we'll take these fishing at some point. It's too cold now. I've hardly use any of that. If you want a batch of simpler spiders, check them out on the website, man. I'd, I'd be happy to make up a batch for you that you can use with your bluegill fishing, crappie fishing. I've caught bluegill, crappie, catfish, even uh, striped bass on these. You know, it's just amazing what you can catch with them. All right. See you guys next week.